We are back in Sherman, Texas today, the place in North Texas that has a lot of growing and opportunity coming its way. Whether it's Natto 3 Brewers, Herman Baker Park, Lake Texoma, or Austin College, Sherman now has a variety of things to do and see around here. Maybe you've considered what it really must be like in this city that everyone has been raving about lately. And if you've watched this channel in the past, you know I personally live in Sherman, and I've had some interesting conversations lately around town where folks will come up to me like, hey, not to be weird, but are, are you that guy that does a lot of YouTube videos for Sherman? And when it first started to happen, I was like, me? Uh, you, you saw me on YouTube, it was kind of a weird feeling, but uh, now it's happening more and more often lately because we have a lot of folks moving to Sherman from out of town and out of state and even out of the country, believe it or not. So again, before making that move, you must watch today's video as we're going to be covering the pros and cons of Sherman, Texas, one of the most sought after suburbs over the last couple years. Before diving into our set of pros for Sherman, let's go and do a quick overview of this North Texas suburb. Sherman, home to the Sherman Bearcats, this area has a population of nearly 48,000. And according to Data USA, Sherman saw a 1.8% increase in population from 2021 to 2022, and it continues to expand. With people moving from south, and what I mean by the south, I just mean south of Sherman, like McKinney, Frisco, Dallas, Plano, all of that. But Sherman's quickly becoming a place to be to kind of get away from the fast paced and congested lifestyle. Sherman is approximately 70 miles from Dallas, which has become one of the biggest hotspots for families. And it still has that small town, suburban life feel, which is perfect for escaping the chaos of the big city. But if it gets a little too boring around here, the city life is something you must have then no need to worry. Sherman is no more than 80 miles from several Dallas hotspots, including AT&T Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys, and many major events throughout the year. We're also a short distance to Globe Life Park, home to the world champion Texas Rangers, American Airlines Center, obviously home to the Dallas Mavericks and Dallas Stars, and then Hurricane Harbor and Six Flags over Texas. And then if you're into scoring big, you're less than 30 miles away from a world-class casino over at Choctaw Casino and Resort. This is in the very southern tip of Oklahoma and one of the biggest draws for local attractions. We have 100 table games, 7,400 slot machines, a state-of-the-art poker room, 16 restaurants, six movie theaters, a massive arcade, and a sports bar. And for the weekend resort getaway, stay at the Sky Tower where you can enjoy private cabanas, 1,700 hotel rooms, and a pool that you'd only see in Las Vegas built by a local pool builder that grew up right here in North Texas. So whether it's public schools, the housing, the economy, uh, the entertainment scene, and the nightlife, Niche.com has awarded Sherman with a B overall grade for now. Now that we've covered a quick overview of Sherman, let's go and dive into pro number one. I'm about to address a new advantage of Sherman. It's probably never been talked about on YouTube for Sherman, Texas, but let's go and talk about the up and coming sports scene of this area. We're definitely on the map now as an up and coming sports town. For all the baseball fans out there, the Mid-American League is a new summer baseball league which is focused on adding fun and exciting entertainment options to the South Central region of the US. This league includes players anywhere from D1 to D3 in the NCAA, NAIA, junior colleges, and along with other select players. And now Sherman is home to one of six teams in this league, the Sherman Shadowcats. They finished seven and three at the end of their first season. And if we have any soccer fans out there, we do have some exciting news for folks coming to Sherman, as Sherman has a brand new soccer team that's on its way, Texoma FC. Texoma FC is a soccer club dedicated to helping youth in the community develop and create a lifelong passion for soccer. These teams will kick off in 2025 for the men's league and 2026 for the women's league. And for pro number two of living in Sherman, I really can't believe I'm about to say this because I grew up in the area, just one town north of us over in Denison, and we've never really associated entertainment with Sherman, but it's gonna be Sherman's up and coming entertainment scene. For starters, we're only 10 miles away from one of the largest man-made lakes in the United States. Lake Texoma has 580 miles of shoreline and consists of 89,000 acres. The lake is a staple of the North Texas community and is a great tourist spot while also being huge for the local economy. And for those of you watching this video, go and comment down below if you've ever visited Lake Texoma and some of your favorite experiences out there. From the shores of Oklahoma to the shores of Texas, there are several options for outdoor activities to participate, including fishing, camping, hiking, kayaking, golfing, boating, jet skiing, swimming at the beaches, playgrounds for kids to enjoy, and a water park on the Oklahoma side. And like I said, just north of us over in Denison, that area has so much intrigue by the lake that the city just approved the Schuler development now called Preston Harbor, a project that's expected to double the city's population. This is a monumental project for Denison and one of the largest land purchases in the history of Grayson County. And it's also expected to bring in an additional $6 million in ad valorem value. And then go back to Lake Texoma and the Preston Harbor project, 
It was just announced on January 19th. There has been an agreement for a $100 million Margaritaville resort to be built in the development and onto the lake. This resort will include between 250 and 280 hotel rooms and add about 300 jobs. More details of this project will be coming soon, but as you can imagine, this will transform the look and feel of these North Texas towns. I don't know about you guys watching this video, but every time my family and I visit the Margaritavilles in Florida, it's a great time. You know, the drinks get pricey, but after like one or two, you just don't even really pay attention to them anymore. No more than three drinks though. And for pro number three of Sherman, Texas, we have the much anticipated growth in the economy. Obviously with growth comes changes to the economy. And for Sherman, this is really good news. New businesses are coming to the area and our existing businesses are expanding big time. Uh, the two that come to mind are obviously going to be Texas Instruments and Globotech. These companies are bringing a significant amount of job opportunities to Sherman, which results in families relocating to the area. And due to the rise in population, the city of Sherman has seen tremendous growth in housing for single family homes, multifamily options, and new construction. Also, there are multiple other industrial businesses in Sherman that are providing similar opportunities, including Eaton, Capio, Sunny Delight, Trident Solutions, Emerson, Tyson, and many more. Onto the housing market in July of this year, the median list price of homes in Sherman is now $315,880 which is a 3.4% increase from last year. Sherman Crossroads, which includes an acute care hospital, grocery stores, residential developments, restaurants, hiking trails, and landscaping. One of our most exciting new developments here is gonna be the 280-acre master plan community over at Bel Air Village. This development offers an outdoor active lifestyle while bringing a beach type atmosphere to Sherman, Texas with the lagoon feature that will be added. Bel Air Village is expected to be completed during summer of 2025. And with these convenient locations comes quick access to some local hotspots, including city limits, the Sherman Town Center, and much more. And for pro number four of living in Sherman, let's go ahead and talk about the small town community feel that we have here. In my opinion, at least, Sherman still has a very welcoming and diverse community. And like I mentioned before, you still have that small town feel with pretty quick access to the city life over in Dallas. Sherman is known for hosting hot summer nights on Thursday evenings, which includes a free concert, vendors, food trucks, and a lot more. We also host family-friendly events like art festivals, parades, and farmers markets year-round. And for pro number five of living in Sherman, this is another thing I haven't really talked about in my previous Sherman videos, and that's gonna be the access to colleges nearby. Sherman is home to Austin College, which has a student population of approximately 1,400 students. This allows for more personal connection with the peers and faculty there. They are a private college, so they do tend to be a little more costly than the other colleges, they also have NCAA Division III athletic teams that compete in 10 different sports. Also, 149 student athletes received all conference academic honors this past year. If you head just north on 75 over to Denison, you're gonna have the local community college over at Grayson County. That is where I got my associate's degree, so I am a proud Viking, but it's a lot more affordable. You still have a lot of recreational and cultural opportunities there. Uh, the student to teacher ratios are pretty good as well. Matter of fact, the Viking baseball team has won three national championship titles and the Lady Vikings softball team regularly places high in conference and regional competitions. And do me a favor, go ahead and comment down below if you've gone to Grayson or Austin College and let the other viewers of the channel know your experiences there. So as you can imagine, with the growth of Sherman comes a lot more pros, but no city is perfect. So let's go and take a quick objective look of uh, the cons of living in Sherman. For con number one, yes, it's the weather is similar to other North Texas videos, but I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into the flooding of Sherman. Recent rainfall has brought back the attention of flooding to the residents of Sherman, so much so that the lack of drainage systems is causing havoc in some of the more highly traveled areas. This causes vehicles to get stranded, businesses to get flooded, and individuals to be put at risk. According to FirstStreet.org and the flood map of Sherman, 8.6% of all properties in Sherman are at risk of flooding. They recorded that flooding can cause cutoff access to utilities, emergency services, transportation, and it could impact the overall economic well-being of the area. Like other North Texas suburbs, the weather in Sherman can be pretty inconsistent. Per my perfect weather, the temperatures vary between a low of 33 in the winter and a high of 95 or higher in the summer. I'm filming this on Tuesday, August 20th because the last three days it was in the 105 range up here in Sherman, Texas. It was brutally hot. Today it's like 95, so it's a little bit better. We experienced an average of 44 inches of precipitation plus two inches of snowfall. And as you can imagine, it is rather humid during the summer months with the cooler fall weather hitting around October. Our second cut of living in Sherman, and I don't really like saying this because my two younger kids go to school here, but it's gonna be the quality of the public schools in Sherman. 
Sherman ISD was graded an overall B by Niche.com, and the school district has around 7,850 students and is the largest and fastest growing public school in Grayson County. It's predicted that Sherman ISD will be serving around 9,300 students by 2028. They do look to build on their reputation for academics, community support, and Bearcat pride in the district. SISD was rated number 75 of 1,061 on most diverse schools in Texas, which they received in the Aon. Sherman does have one high school, two middle schools, seven elementary schools, and three learning centers. As a realtor, I really can't dive too far into the school path or talk too highly or too low, uh, but just do your own research and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about uh, with Sherman's academic reputation. Our third con of living in Sherman is going to be the ongoing construction projects around the area. With all the growth coming to Sherman, the construction has created congestion and traffic on Highway 75, FM 1417, and Highway 82 in the local roads as well. For any of us living in Sherman or at least traveling through Sherman, you know that the, the traffic times or the drive times uh, getting in and out of Sherman has become brutal lately. The good news is the infrastructure development should be finished soon and it will be well worth the headache of having to sit in traffic and avoid the traffic cones and concrete barriers. And for our last count of living in Sherman, let's address the crime and safety factors here. The crime and safety of Sherman was graded a C- according to Niche.com. This is based on violent and property crime rates. It is higher than the national average across all communities in America. Now, although there isn't a significant amount of violent crimes within Sherman, uh, there's a lot of petty theft, car theft, burglary, uh, and just stuff that that, that makes it a, a pain in the butt. So guys, let's get to close this out on the pros and cons of living in Sherman, Texas. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you have any questions about Sherman, would like a tour of any of the homes here, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. All of my contact info is pinned in the top comment below. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, please. And lastly, if you want to see what another great North Texas suburb is like, check out this video by clicking here.